uh, Mark Watson, or Morton. Morton it is. Morton up towards centre half for Ralph. Oh, oh, that's the mark of the game. What a beauty. We'll that's see that one replay. A great Probably mark. when I first went to Claremont. I knew I could play the game, but obviously when you're that young, you don't think about how good you are because you're part of a team and you're just playing the game for fun. You're just really just going out there and having a good time. So that year, sort of playing and playing really with the big boys all of a sudden, it was a bit daunting. But in saying that, we had a pretty good side. A lot of good players in front of me at full forward, which certainly helps. So the transition from reserves to, to seniors was made OK. And obviously, I had a pretty good year that year. Yeah, the euphoria, the crowd, the, the buzz, the excitement, the, and, and like I said, we were young men, we weren't certainly old. There was a couple of elder statesmen in the side. And it's a chance to see this lad under pressure. Warren Ralph lining up the big ones has brought himself just one goal closer to George Maloney's 1940 record. After kicking my first hundred and then probably kicking my second hundred, Ralph. I actually probably wanted to really prove to myself that I could do it again and that's what I think I was thinking about going in 83 um, but then I just got this urge that I think you know I, I wanted to see if I could do it again and really cement myself as a full forward 83 was over and done and dusted I sat down um, and thought about going and that's when I decided that I'd have a crack at the big time and go to the VFL well, he's certainly living up to the expectations. Then I was selected in the, uh, the qualifying song of final side for 84. And again, playing at Waverley, which suited me, big ground, open spaces. We weren't playing all that well, but we were playing okay. To kick five out of five in the first half was, yeah, was, was great for me. Um, and then to finish with eight for the match out of, I think, 13. So, yeah, I had a pretty good day in the park, um, even though we got beaten by six, uh, five goals at the end. Just right spot, right time, uh, playing in a premiership again. Um, and that's, as I said, something footballers dream of, just playing in one, let alone I was privileged enough to, at Claremont to play in three. So to come back and, and play in that side, again, very, very skillful side. I thought 88 was going to be my last season. Um, I had a crack in my ankle that was a very, very fine stress fracture. And for me to turn was like a bus turning, so it made it pretty hard. Um, and then I'd had enough rest and I, I went to the, the first home and away game. Claremont Subi at Subi Oval. Um, there's a few boys on the hill, we're having a couple of cold beers and I was enjoying watching it for probably the first 10 minutes. And then I thought, no, nah, this is wrong, I've got to be out there. So. I went in front of Nisham and I said, look, I want to play. And he said, well, get yourself fit and uh, we'll go from there. Close to the boundary line, he's quick enough to get out of stride. Hooks it back towards the goal square, Evans! Lucky enough to play in a grand final, uh, in a premiership. And then I thought, oh, 30 years of age, time to call it quits. Your body's telling you something. And so I just walked away. To have the successes with each other, the premierships and that go with it and to have that success with your mates is, is something special that I'll live with forever.